Hello and welcome to this OpenTX quick tip. Now this is for a gentleman that wants this. Uh, wants to be able to flick a switch, there's a delay of two seconds and then full power for 10 seconds. I think this is a kind of a competition thing maybe where you're allowed to have like 10 seconds of power and then it has to cut off. Now this one was quite a fun one to set up, so I need to say thank you for the person who asked about this. Uh, this is part of the Painless 360 Answers series. I put a playlist link down below. Uh, loads of questions like this have been answered. Also, if you're interested in OpenTX and doing all kinds of cool stuff, check out the OpenTX Mix School. That starts very simply from how to use OpenTX and then down towards the bottom of the playlist, there's just example and after, after example after example after example of cool stuff like this. So let me show you how what I've done. So first of all, let me just open this and we'll simulate it. We'll move around, put things in here, there we go. So you can see here throttle one, uh, channel one is the throttle. The way it works is I flick switch A, you get a little warning, then we got full power on the old throttle for 10 seconds. And then after 10 seconds, without touching anything, there we go, the throttle is off. So how have I done that? Well, kind of give you a hint. In terms of the inputs, inputs are exactly the same. The mix is, there is this flight mode one and flight mode two, like a warning and launch. And actually, if you watch how it works, let me do that again. Uh, so here we are watching uh, here at the bottom, actually it says normal. That's the mode we're currently in. And as I flick the switch, watch what happens. We go into warning, we get the beeping noise, then we're in launch, and while we're in launch, we are then uh, at full throttle uh, to gain the altitude before then the radio turns it off. And then we drop back, back to normal, and then you know, we can just fly around. So it's flight modes that we're using for that, because flight modes are really good, because they put that information on the screen, so the, flight, the name of the flight mode is warning, name is launch. Uh, so it's a cute little visual indicator of what you're doing. So in the mixes then, what I'm doing, I'm having throttle being the throttle, and then throttle being controlled in both the warning and the launch state. And that's all being done through logical switches. If you look in flight modes, the default flight mode, which is the normal one that you're always in by default unless you select one of the others is the normal flying mode then we have logical switch zero two is turning on flight mode one and logical switch zero three is turning on flight mode two which is the launch one which has the 100 percent throttle and it's been done by this so in logical switches is how we're doing this so what we're doing is we're detecting the edge of uh the sa being moved so what that means is that when the SA uh, is value goes and changes, that starts two timers running. Once for 12 seconds, once for two seconds. That's the delay, that's the overall time. And then what this logical switch three does is kind of take away one from the other, you can kind of think of it. So the idea is, is that timer one is running for 12 seconds, but for the first two seconds of that, uh, nothing happens. So the way it works, if you watch what the logical switches are doing, watch them up here. These are the logical switches. As I hit SA, there's logical switches one and two, and then logical switch three comes on because that first 12 second timer is still running, but the second two second delay timer has finished. So it's just the logical way of doing it. Again, there's probably miles more elegant ways to do it, but this is how I've done it and how it works. So by doing this, I can then have logical switches that change and I can use the logical switches, then change my flight mode. The thing I'm doing in flight mode is I am just using, if we look in the mixes, there we go. Okay, we can see that the weight We can actually see, if I look on here, in flight mode normal, the standard throttle input is coming from the throttle at 100%. That looks pretty standard, right? However, in flight mode one, 
uh, of which is the warning one which is you want zero throttle what we're doing is we're saying we're using the max value because it's got nothing to do with any switches or anything we're saying the throttle is at minus 100 which is minimum throttle so that guarantees when you flick that switch even if you bump the throttle accidentally you've got two seconds to launch the thing into the air and then when we get into launch we go full power this is the one that's going to be on for the 10 seconds again we're using max but this time we're using plus 100 which is a hundred percent throttle so that's uh, how it's kind of working so again the way it works is that we are using three logical switches that are detecting when SA moves. It could be any switch, I've just set it up for SA. And you'll see as the logical switches change, the flight modes will change. And as the flight modes change, you'll see it on here. And also the throttle value will change. Because right now, we could have whatever throttle value we wanted. However, if I hit SA, there's the warning. There's the 100% throttle. And again, we're in launch. And then when that finishes, it will drop back to flight mode zero, which will take us back to whatever throttle we've actually got here if we want to kind of then carry on cruising about. So hopefully that answers that question. Again, check out the OpenTX Mix School and check out the Painless 360 Answers playlist. Links to both down below if you want to kind of see other cool stuff like this. Or if you have another suggestion for another video, pop it down below and I'll do my best to get around to it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.